Good evening and welcome to a miracle tonight as an Aussie villain team prepares to play in a divisional series as the Cubs host the Dodgers in game one of the NLDS tonight. Now we are joined by the man himself and Ozzy, do you have any team news you can share? Thanks mate, yeah, well, uh, you know, we go with what's got us here, what's worked through the season, uh, as well as Alex Bregman. And, uh, you know, after a conversation with Willie Mack, we've decided that uh, it's gonna be Sandman on the mound tonight. Uh, so he'll get the ball for game one. Go Cubs, go. Go Cubs, go. Hey Chicago, what do you say? The Cubs are gone. Hey guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome to the promised land. Welcome to the Chicago Cubs in the postseason and more importantly, welcome to one of my teams past the wild card. It never happens. I think it's happened once in the last year uh, that we got through the wild card with the Tigers. So uh, it's a very, very strange experience. This is how things are shaping up. It is the Yankees behind my head here in the Dodgers, uh, but you can see it is the, yeah, then the Tigers, Yankees and Tigers. It is the Dodgers that we're playing. They are uh, 2-1 over the Cardinals, so it's good the series went to a game three. They're all just going to be that little bit extra warm down uh, and the nationals knocked out uh, the reds so uh we laughed at them the the, the uh, nl east teams watch them go win the world series now so they swept the reds so we are the sole representation from the uh from the division now which is uh unexpected i'd say to be honest but uh, let's see what uh what we're up against here now we have to catch up on the end of the season it was a fairly unremarkable end of the year uh we did lose zerpa more or less for the season i think three weeks he might get back if we were to make the world series uh but we're kind of planning to go on without him uh christian scott is the man that came in we did see him briefly as a starter and then i think he himself got injured actually so he comes in uh to the playoff roster i'll show you the playoff roster in just a second but uh, the last few games of the season here if we go back to september um we didn't do great in the rest of this. We didn't do great in the rest of the time. To be honest, we won two of our uh, was it seven games or something. Uh, game one of uh, this, of course, sorry, it's game one of the of after we left, but game two of the series. The only thing really significant about this for us is Namala, uh, our sort of backup young shortstop slash second baseman first career home run for him in this one in the seventh inning so uh, well done to him uh, if we go and have a look at the pitches dj just losing a little bit of form at the right time so fantastic work dj uh but yeah other than that it was a bit of a non-event we split the series in uh, kansas and then we got swept away to the to uh to the cardinals but ultimately i was sort of i was rotating the mala and uh and swanson to try and give the mala some playing time and then also to try and um Try and keep uh, keep him fresh. Him being, of course, uh, what's his face? Swanson. Swanson, who's fragile. So, yeah, we can see here. I'll, I'll actually I'll make myself go away so we can see our regular season numbers versus uh, versus the Dodgers. We didn't play them that much. We did win five of the seven, though. So that's uh, that's something that we'd like to see continue. And uh, yeah, we just have to try and see. We were tied fourth in runs scored, and we had the best uh, the best defense or defense, uh, they were tied four, so they had the same amount, exactly the same amount of runs scored against us, but they were only eighth with runs against. So, yeah, and the matchup suggests it is maybe a series that we could, even should win. Uh, and those are always the dangerous ones, aren't they? So let's go and check the lineups for game one. Oh, here we go, of the uh, NLDS. Are you ready for some playoff baseball, Chicago? Because here come your Cubs. At first base, it's Vlad Jr. At second base, it's Kevin May. At third base, it's Alex Bregman. At shortstop, it's Debbie Watson. In left field, it's Owen Casey. In center field, it's Pete Crow Armstrong. In right field, it's Brennan Davis. Your designated hitter is William McQuay. Behind the plate tonight, it's Moses Ballastero. And your starting pitcher is Sandy Alcantara. So the matchups look promising, don't they? But we've been bitten by this before, these promising looking matchups. So Kevin Maid is back in form, back at second base and leading us off. Casey bats second in left field. Vlad is uh, batting third at first. McQuaid cleans up the DH. Uh, Davis bats five in right field. Ballesteros, of course, the Fab Four. They all went to the All-Star game, bats six as catcher. Bregman 
it's his time to shine now and we'll forgive everything. He bats seven at third. P.D. Crow Armstrong in a bit of a slump is batting eight. Dansby Swanson is the shortstop, bats nine. And it's Sandy Alcantara on the mound. There was a bit of a conversation in the Discord. Ultimately, it was, uh, and I, I agreed with it, which is why it's happening. Uh, the, the decision was that he's our main man. He's the big signing. He's the big money guy. He's the experienced guy. This is his stage kind of thing. So we're going to give him the chance to uh, to prove why we are paying him such money. Uh, we're up against Richard Fitz for them. Uh, he has not started a game yet. He has not thrown a pitch in Major League Baseball. That can't be right, can it? Anyway, uh, do you recognize any other names? Bo Bichette is there. Um, we've had him, obviously, before when we were at the Jays a couple of years ago now. And so here we go. Welcome to Wrigley. I will do it earlier on before I forget, because I've been doing it at the end of episodes where you might miss it. Uh, MVP, of course, is a, an award that is voted on by you at the end of season award. So let me know in the comments who you think has been our MVP this season. You can nominate more than one player if you're sort of torn. If you want to do a pitcher and, and, a, and a hitter or whatever, however you want to do, you can nominate the whole team if you really want to. And uh, we will get voting on that. It'll have to be next episode in case the uh, the off season here, or the off season, the postseason, I should say, doesn't go to plan. As Sandy Alcantara and Pete Crow Armstrong are playing their own personal game, with two away for Dalton rushing to come in. He is batting 125 in the postseason. First pitch, ground ball, made has it over to first, and we like to see that. We will go and have a bat. And it will be Kevin Maid to lead us off. Let's see what he can do. Batted 268 in the end in the regular season. And he has grounded that to the first baseman. Pitcher covers 108. Uh, Raffaella is obviously unlucky not to be in the lineup tonight. Uh, as Casey comes in. 3-1 pitch. Draws the walk. Uh, ultimately, Maid is a good defensive player. His bat was quite good towards the end of the season. Raffaella dropped away a bit as Vlad gets it through. And that will be runners at first and second with one away for our big man, William McQuaid, to come up now. What can he do? And McQuaid, oh, it's not a double play. It might be an infield hit. He didn't get enough on it. Enough to get it past the pitcher. Not enough to get it to the shortstop. And we have one out bases loaded for Brennan Davis now. An 0-2 pitch. Oh, he strikes out. It's going to come down to Ballesteros. What can he do? A 1-1 pitcher gets away from the catcher. It's a wild one, and it will score a run. We go 1-0 up in the bottom of the first. And what can Ballesteros do now? A 1-2 pitch. Ballesteros lines it straight to the third baseman, ends the inning. We strand two, but we do take the lead. I think perhaps we're seeing the benefit here in terms of pitching, of, of not having to play the wild card series, because clearly this is not their main guy. If he hasn't thrown a pitch yet this season, in you know, or regular season. Um, our guys are fairly fresh. And uh, obviously their guys have, you know, they're especially pitching staff more so than anything else, but have had to come through a three-game series already. So yeah, I think we're definitely seeing a benefit of that as Russell 3 comes in now. A full count on him, and that is into left field. Out there is Casey, makes the catch. And that will do it for the top of the second. Bregman now, is he going to shine in September? He, oh, Bregman, has he done it? Alex Bregman! Ho oh, ho! Welcome to the Cubs, mate! Better late than never, Alex Bregman hits a home run. 386 feet, it is 2-0 to the Cubs. Then he's worth every penny if he can do that in September. Worth every penny. All right, Petey Crow in a slump. He's down the order because he has not been batting well. Is he going to uh, dust things off and start fresh in the postseason? Based off of that, perhaps he is, as he has a single. For Dansby Swanson now to come in. An 0-2. Swanson. Never change, Dansby. Never change. He strikes out on three pitches. Kevin made now. 0-1 for one tonight. Runner at first. Pete Crow Armstrong goes. Pete Crow Armstrong is quick. Oh, and they've thrown it away, and he'll get himself over to third as well. So, one away, runner at third. Can Kevin drive in the third run of the game for us? He can. Oh, and it's actually going to get himself on base as well. Is that an error, or is it an uh, infield hit? It is an infield hit. So, 3 nothing, one away, runner at first. Casey at the plate, who walked first time up. Casey grounds into what should be a double play, and it'll end the second. But we are 3-0 up after two. And it is Estrada to the plate for them, batting 364 so far in the postseason. Ground ball. Swanson has it. No, he doesn't. It goes past Swanson for the first hit of the game for the uh, Dodgers. 
It brings Vargas in, who's batting 429 in the postseason. He walks. Let's not do this, please, said man. Two on, none out for Nick Allen, who is batting 222 postseason. Looks to lay down a bunt. It appears to be a good one. So with one away, runners at second and third. And in will come Cal Conley, who is 0 for 1 today. A 1-1 pitch. And that is into deep left field. It is caught at the fence by Casey. A run will score, but it will be two away. A runner at second. 3-1 is now the lead. And Westberg is at the plate, who is 0 for 1 today. It's a 1-2 pitch. It's a ground ball. Swanson has it over to first. And that'll do it for the third. Our lead is cut back by one. And it'll be Vlad to lead us off. He is one for one today. Vlad in the end did get 100 RBIs in the season. He was the only one that did manage to do it. McQuaid fell just short. Uh, does it say here what his regular season thing was? No, he was high 90s, I'd say. As there's a pitching change now, it is uh, Duan Singh coming out. I've almost certainly mispronounced that. Although I'm not quite sure how you would say that. Anyway, McQuaid, is he going to get a second infield? <laughs> it's William McQuaid. They're all fielding deep for him. And uh, he's got himself a second infield hit of the game. Brennan Davis now with one out, one on. And he's 0 for 1. He gets hit. That seemed unnecessary. So two on, one out for Ballesteros. An 0-2 pitch. Ballesteros strikes out. Up will come Bregman. Hit the home run last inning. And this time, oh, I tell you what, is he had it again? Bregman, oh, it's off the very, very top of the wall. And Alex Bregman has saved all of his hits for the postseason as he is going to get thrown out at third. No, he gets there. So a two-hubby-eye triple, though it may well be, yeah, it is scored a double. But Bregman, <laughs> three RBIs, two hits, and a partridge in a pear tree. Where has this been all season, Alex? Anyway. 5-1 going into the fourth as PCA strikes out. Rushing will come back in. He's 0-for-1 today. It's a 1-2 pitch. It is popped up to Petey Crow. And that will be one away. All right. Chisholm to the plate. He is 0-for-1 today. A 3-1. And that is into right field. Brennan Davis cannot make a catch. So it will be a one-out single. And Bo Bichette will come up 0-for-1 today. And he takes a 1-2 pitch into left field. It drops in front of Casey. And that will be two on, one out for Robbie 3, who is 0 for 1 today. It's a 1-2 pitch. Can we get a double play ball here? We just might have, you know. It was well hit. 1-2. And that'll do it for the fourth. And that is that is our, sort of our game plan, isn't it? Ground ball pitching, really good second baseman and shortstop defensively. And it gets us out of trouble again. Swanson, who struck out first time around. This time he draws a walk. So leadoff man aboard for Kevin Maid, who is one for two. A 1-0. Kevin Maid, is that... No, it's not a double play. It is out at first, though. Does get Swanson over to second. It is Casey now, who is 0 for 1. A 3-1. And another walk. So 2-1, on, 1 out for Vlad and McQuaid coming to the plate. Vlad, 1 for 2. It's a 1-2 pitch. Oh, he strikes out, so it's down to McQuaid to try and keep our scoring streak going. He's two for two with infield hits. This time, he goes a little bit further than that, but it finds left field's glove and ends the fourth without a run crossing the plate. All right, Alcantara will face Estrada, who is one for one. Has one of uh, only three hits. I think he got their first hit, didn't he? Bregman has it over to first, and suddenly Bregman looks like uh, a Hall of Famer, doesn't he? <laughs> Wonderful to see. Vargas who is, uh, got walked or hit first time around. That is a ground ball to Maid. Should be out, is out at first. Two away. And it brings Nick Allen up, who uh, similarly got either walked or hit or something in the first, uh, first at bat. This time he strikes out, ends the inning, and will go and bat in the fifth. 5-1 to the good. Brennan Davis now, who is 0 for 1. Is he going to walk again? He's been hit, now he's been walked, and the leadoff man is aboard for Ballesteros, who is 0 for 2. A 1-2 pitch, and that could be a double play. No, it's just the man at second. Bregman, two for two. What's he going to do this time? Oh, so two is probably going to strike out. Oh, no, it's not Bregman. He's got another hit. Bregman's gone three for three. That's, uh, it's, it's like, it's actually like 3% of the hits he's got this season have been in this game. That is ridiculous. All right, I think he got just over 100 hits for the year. Petey Crow Armstrong, what can he do? He gets it into center field. That is not going to do much, except add to the out tally. 
So two away runners at first and second for Swanson, who's over one. A 1-1 one -one pitch. And Swanson into center field. That will also be caught. That will end the fifth. And we are still 5-1 up. Now, I think we do need to be a little bit cautious here. The Dodgers, I, I'm fairly confident that their pitching staff will get better. You know, they're, they're going to have put their top three guys in the wild card series. We are, we are almost certainly facing their fourth guy today. So if there was a game that we would be expected to win, uh, this this would be it. So we don't want to, I don't want to get too carried away. Um, but obviously, 1-0 up, two more home games to come. And we not, haven't won this game either, I should stress as well. <laughs> but uh, as we've got another man now, Gotorol coming in. And he's going to face Kevin Maid, who is one for three. It is a 2-0 pitch. What can May do? He grounds it to the first baseman, and that should be one away. It'll bring up Casey. And Casey is 0 for 1. It is a 2-0 pitch. Casey grounds it to the second baseman. That'll be 2 away. And it'll bring up Vlad, who is 1 for 3 today. It is a 1-0 pitch. Vlad, up the middle. That should drop in, and it does. And Vlad has himself a two-out single. And it brings up McQuaid, who is two for three. A one-two pitch. McQuaid grounds it to the second baseman, who makes a really good stop. And that will end the sixth. Still 5-1. It's been 5-1 for a while now, hasn't it? Alcantara continues to Chisholm, who is one for two today. And he is now two for three, as that goes into the right field corner. Davis has it, but won't be able to prevent the leadoff double. All right, in now comes Bichette. He is one for two. First pitch, Bichette. It's one of those choppers that's going to be difficult to make a play. And suddenly, runners at the corners, none out. Robbie, three at the plate. He is 0 for two. It's a 2-2 two -two pitch. It is a strikeout, one away. And can we get a double play ball out of Estrada now, who is one for two? It's a 1-2 one -two pitch. Never mind, we'll just strike him out. This is fantastic stuff from Alcantara. Can he get out of this inning? It is Vargas who is 0 for 1. First pitch, ground ball. That should do it. Over to first. And still, Alcantara doesn't give up a run. It's time to stretch. We have four runs up, and we are looking good. Okay, welcome back. Brennan Davis, 0 for 1, will lead us off. It's a 1-2 pitch, and Davis strikes out one away. I've got to say, uh, take their, their Lear uh, starter out of the game, and it has been much, much more difficult for our hitters, hasn't it? As Belasteros grounds out for two away. In comes Bregman. Three for three. What's he going to do this time? It's a 2-2 pitch. This time he does strike out. And that'll do it for a very, very quick seven. And it'll be Alcantara to continue into the eighth. To Allen who is 0 for 1. And another strikeout for Alcantara. It was definitely the right decision to start him. That'll do it. He's gone 7.1. One earned run, five hits, and uh, just a, a magnificent, magnificent start. Montano is the man on the mound to face Conley. Montano didn't have a great regular season, if I'm honest. Uh, but hopefully he's going to show up in the postseason as he starts with a one-out single. In comes Westberg, who is 0 for 3. It is a 3-1 pitch. That looks a little bit better hit out there, but it's just going to find the glove of Davis. For two away, rushing comes up. He is 0 for 3. It is a 1-2 pitch. Two out, runner at first. And that should end the inning. It does. And we will go and bat for hopefully the final time. And can we pad this lead? Petey Crow Armstrong will face Terry Wingent Wingenter. We'll go with that. Not been a great day. Continuing his, his poor form at the, at the plate for uh, Petey Crow. But... As long as he gets it done in the field for us, that is fine. He strikes out, brings up Swanson, who's 0 for 2. This doesn't usually end well. 2-2 pitch. Swanson strikes out as well. Kevin Maid now, who is 1 for 4. It is a 2-1. Can Kevin Maid keep the inning going for us? He just might have, you know. It drops in front of the right fielder for a 2-out single. In comes Casey, who is 0 for 2 today. It is an 0-1 pitch. Casey pops it up. And that'll do it. We will go into the ninth. We are four runs in front. And it is Montano to continue to Chisholm, who is two for three tonight. It is a full count. And it is a very well hit ball out into center field. It finds the grass, not the fans, thankfully. But it is a leadoff triple. 
And I don't know that Montano is our man to be out there right now. If I'm completely honest. Bo Bichette comes in. He's two for three. An 0-2 pitch. There you go, Montano. He's not too bad, is he? There's a strikeout for one away. Robbie Three, who is 0 for 3. A first pitch swing. He hits it into center field. P.D. Crow should have it. Now, can he stop the run coming across? Uh, no, he cannot. So it is now 5-2. But crucially, they are down to their final out. No one on board. Estrada at the plate. Can Montano wrap up game one of the series for us here? A 1-1 pitch. It is into right field. Brennan Davis is there. And we should have a 1-0 lead in the NLDS. Magnificent performance in the first three innings anyway. So there we go. We take the 1-0 lead. The heroes, it was the two sides, wasn't it? Bregman and Alcantara, the two big money signings. They're making me look good there because they've both shown up in a very, very big way. And uh, between the two of them have won us the game. So that is that is magnificent. Love to see that. Uh, but guys, that will do it for today. What we do in the postseason, if you are new, is we come back when there's a chance for a team to advance. Hopefully, that'll be game three in LA. Uh, if we can go and win game two, it'll be May versus Crockett. Uh, you can see our, our rotation there. Then Perkins and Hertz will go away from home. They have the slightly better ERAs away from home. And then it'll be Alcantara again, if and hopefully we won't need a game five. If you've enjoyed that thumbs up, don't forget to nominate your MVPs. And I will see you next time as we hopefully look to advance in LA. Take care.